Hello, I'm Gene Albert, CEO of Lexby, and welcome to this month's edition of the Lexby webinar series. This uh, month's webinar is uh, Lawyer's Guide to In-House E-Discovery, Practical Tips for Imple Implementing Integrated E-Discovery Solutions In-House. And this applies both to in-house within a corporation or organization and also in-house within a law firm. Our presenter this month is Christian Detrude. Let me say a little bit about the webinars. Uh, these take place monthly. They cover a variety of webinar topics. Um, if you have any technical issues during this month's uh, webinar, please uh, email us at webinars at lexby.com and we'll address it as soon as possible. Once the webinar is complete, we'll make available a, um, a streaming video a viewing version of it uh, and as well as a, a downloadable version as a PDF presentation and also an MP3 podcast. Um, this will be emailed out to all registrants uh, after the webinar. Um, there's, uh, you can also go to our website uh, to see a complete listing of other on-demand webinars uh, that we've done over the last couple years. If you'd like to get notice of these in the future, um, there are several different ways you can um, email us at uh, webinars at lexby.com. There's a sign-up page at our website, and you can also follow us on LinkedIn where we post these uh, regularly. A little bit about Lexby. Uh, we're an Austin-based uh, e-discovery software and service provider. We specialize in small and medium-sized law firms and organizations uh, for their e-discovery needs. Let me say a little bit about Christian before turning it over to him. Uh, Christian is a solutions consultant with Lexby, and he has years of experience uh, both in the technical side and also as a client solutions specialist in helping uh, law firms and organizations uh, best meet their uh, e-discovery and complex document management needs. He's a certified e-discovery specialist by the Association of uh, e-discovery specialists, ASEDS. And with that, let me turn things over to Christian. Thank you. Thank you, Gene, and thank you everybody for attending today's webinar. I'm very excited to be talking about today's topic. These are questions that I get asked all the time, things that I'm constantly talking about in my day-to-day -day work. So it's a very exciting topic, and I hope you all enjoy it. Getting started, let's take a look at our agenda for today. We're going to start with the growth in e-discovery and the changing landscape of e-discovery. Then we'll move into the advantages of in-house e-discovery and do-it-yourself solutions for e-discovery. Then we'll look at some of the challenges that you'll face bringing e-discovery in-house. Then circle back around to local installations versus on-demand cloud solutions, the advantages of end-to-end -end or all-in-one e-discovery solutions, and the faster review and production speed that those types of solutions will supply you with, the importance of training and support when moving your e-discovery in-house, and then we'll finish things off with some practical takeaways. Moving on, growth in e-discovery and the changing landscape of e-discovery. We see that e-discovery is projected to grow at 9.8% year over year. That's uh, from the International Data Corporation. And that really outlines how uh, e-discovery support is going to grow and the need for e-discovery is going to grow. And firms are going to have to maintain and expand their competitive presence um, by really embracing e-discovery, whether it be in-house or from uh, outsourcing to a vendor. And so either way, it's going to be important. Technology is making e-discovery manageable in-house. And as we'll see in just a minute, there are a lot of advantages to, to uh, utilizing that technology and bringing it in-house. And the online training options have made it a lot easier to specialize in e-discovery and to be kind of fluent in e-discovery and be able to handle that in-house. As I move to this slide, we see this uh, exponential ESI growth, and that really shows why e-discovery is growing as well. This is also data from the IDC, and we just see how things are multiplying over the past decade, um, up over four times what it was since 2005, as far as just digital information created, captured, and replicated worldwide. And that's really fueling the explosion of e-discovery. Now, moving on to advantages of bringing e-discovery in-house. Uh, first and foremost, cost. It's going to cost less, and there are a number of reasons why. Um, if you're sending things out to a vendor, um, likely there are 
a lot of excess costs that are coming in, kind of like middleman costs. Um, oftentimes those vendors are really just people that are trained to use a uh, product that they have bought and then hardware that they have bought. And it's the same kind of thing that you could use in-house, but it's just not as efficient for one law firm to use it. And that's the old technology way of doing things. And we'll look at in this webinar how with new technology, you can really cut out some of that, uh, those excess steps and save costs. And uh, another reason there is because you don't have to buy more than you need if you're bringing it in-house and you're utilizing your own people's downtime. So people that are already on staff can learn to do this stuff, they can do it well, and they can be utilized there and that's a cost saving. Another advantage to having it in-house is control. You're going to be able to have a lot more control over the e-discovery process, uh, where your data is, how it's processed, how it's stored and held, and just um, what you're doing with your data. It's hard to, uh, to get a hold of the case if you have to send data out to be processed and then bring it back in-house or anything of that nature. So if you have this whole process in-house, and as we'll see later in the presentation with the end-to-end e-discovery -end e solutions, you can really start um, digging into your case and figuring out what docs are relevant a lot earlier if you do this in-house. Speed, um, it's just going to cut out, cut out turnaround time if you have to uh, send it out to have this done or rely on a vendor. If you can do it yourself right through your web browser or something like that with a cloud solution like we're going to look at, it's going to be a lot faster for you, especially uh, with a solution like we're going to look at here um, and use the Lexby platform as an example where you log in through your web browser and you have access to an unlimited scalable server architecture where you can spin up multiple servers and have you know gigabytes, terabytes productions processed within a day. And then quality. Um, if you want something done right, do it yourself is the old saying and that sort of holds true here. The more involved you are in the process, you're the one that knows what you want and so if you're involved, you're overseeing it, you're in control, you don't have to do any of the, uh, the actual work yourself. It's mostly done by the technology but you're right there um, able to look at the QC testing and uh, reports and things like that have a lot more control over the process and thus the quality. So now to tackle some of the challenges of bringing e-discovery in-house. Um, first is hardware. Um, it takes a lot of computer hardware to process and host as much data as we're dealing with in even uh, a small or moderate sized e-discovery project nowadays. And uh, if you get enough hardware uh, in, your, in your system, uh, in your firm or in your company and you have that there and that's enough for 90% of your cases, you're still going to get a bottleneck when you reach that one case that's just more than the, than the uh, half hardware can handle. And the solution we see here is that we're going to use software with a practically unlimited capacity and that's what I was talking about before. With a cloud-based system like the one we're going to use an example here, the Lexby system, you log in through a web browser, you have access to uh, basically unlimited server bank and you can just use more and more processing power the larger your project is. And so whether it's 10 gigabytes or 10 terabytes, you're not missing your deadlines based on a hardware restriction. Another challenge is software. Um, the software, you might have compatibility issues with it, uh, certain browsers or machines. If most of your people use a certain browser and then your software doesn't work in that browser, even if it is cloud-based, uh, that's not going to be very good. That's going to be an impediment to people working with it. You could have access issues if it's not cloud-based. You have to go in through a VPN and remote in. And if you have something cloud-based, you have all the security that you'd want with something like that and that the data is encrypted and placed and in transit, but it's a lot easier to log in. You don't have to deal with VPNs. Um, another compatibility issue you might run into is the machines. A lot of software doesn't work on Mac or doesn't work on Windows or vice versa, and so you're going to want to find something that does work on both. And then user licenses. You're going to want something with uh, unlimited user licenses. And the solution is a fully compatible cloud-hosted software with unlimited user licenses, something that's going to be working on a Mac, on a PC, on any browser, and provide you unlimited user licenses so you're not locked down and having to pay a fee or buy more user licenses when you're up against a deadline. Further challenges of bringing eDiscovery in-house is the integration. Integrating the different
different phases of e-discovery through the EDRM, the planning and collection, review and production, deposition and trial prep, those things um, are often done in different modules, different softwares with different vendors and integrating those is going to be a challenge. You're going to want one software that will allow you to do all of that and that's what we cover down here in the solution and end to end e-discovery software solution that integrates all phases of the e-discovery project and that way you're able to do everything from the moment the data is um, held for um, potential collection or collected and you're planning your case up through when you're getting ready for uh, trial or um, a little earlier than that deposition you've got it all in one place it's all integrated and there are a lot of advantages to that that we'll tackle later in the presentation and lastly on the challenges staffing training and support it can be difficult when you're bringing it in-house as far as e-discovery, um, ensuring that you have the staff on hand to meet project deadlines, that the staff is trained to use the software that you've picked out. And a solution for that is a software provider with on-demand services for project support to supplement staff, training for their software and technical support. And the way that that works is that you have your internal staff, they're trained up well on the software, you have one software that's doing everything you need discovery, so it's pretty easy on them, they do it, and then when deadlines come up and you need some extra help, it's available, but it's not required, and that's something that we want to look at too. A lot of vendors will require you to buy a certain number of project hours or support hours, and it's important to look for solutions that don't require that if you want to keep those costs down and you want to utilize your own people but you definitely want to have that as an option so that you never get stuck not having support and you have a deadline coming up or you need to get something done right away. To move on, we'll look at the local installation versus on-demand. We've already touched on this a little bit. With a local installation, you would buy software and install it on your servers. So you've got all the servers, the hardware that you need. You're going to need an IT team to upload the data in ESI, you know, install it, manage those servers, manage that whole process. With On Demand, we're talking about a uh, software that's cloud-based, so you just log in through your browser. There's no installation. The updates are handled by the software providers. There's never anything, no maintenance, no updates to run. Um, and you can upload instantly through the web portal from your own device, whether you're in the office, you're at home, you're anywhere else, or you can send data to the software provider to load it in for you and just log in and uh, view it, review it, process it, bait stamp it, etc. The advantages of the on-demand service, you can work anywhere um, from home, from the office, anywhere else and collaborate and share data in real time with the other people working on your case. Uh, there are no upfront hardware setup costs like we talked about that would be necessary if you had a locally installed solution. No additional staffing or maintenance costs. If you're not administering any hardware and the software is managed off-site, then you don't have any costs for that. You don't have to hire IT people and so on. And then the access to scalable, uh, scalable server structures. And that will give you practically unlimited data to processing capacity. And the way that that works, and we'll see it later, and I'll just tell you a bit about it briefly, is that you can buy servers in-house, and you might buy 5, 10, 20, 100, but at any given time that you have a project coming up, you need to get this stuff done quickly. The ability to jump up to 10 times that server's, uh, server number is just going to be invaluable, and you can't do that instantly without an upfront cost if you have this stuff uh, installed locally. So let's push forward and look at the advantages of end-to-end e-discovery -end e solutions. First off, we have data integrity. As I talked about before, you might have different modules that you use, different softwares that you use for different phases of that EDRM model, like something for case planning and early case assessment um, collection, a different thing after it goes through that for calling and maybe keyword searching, and yet a different module for production um, or review and breaking it up like that it just leaves a lot of room for error transferring data between those applications it's going to increase your risk of uh, data loss or corruption and so an end-to-end -end solution keeps your data all in one place and there are several advantages to that and first of all we see data integrity is one you don't have to worry about loss or corruption as much another one privilege and confidential data protection 
So like we said with an end-to-end, -end, from the time the data is collected until um, production and then afterwards, even after using that data for depot or trial prep, you have it all in the same location. And so you don't have to worry about carrying over those privilege tags, those confidential designations, things like that from one system to another. From the moment it's tagged that way in a platform like the Lexby platform, there are fail-safes in place to make sure that anything marked privilege, any confidential designation, that those things are respected when the software goes to produce those things. And that's an advantage of having it all integrated into one solution. It's going to save time and increase your efficiency. By having the data in one system, you don't really have to move along from one phase to the next. They can all kind of blend into each other. Um, while you're getting ready to do your culling and, and things like that in your early case assessment, you can already be setting up your uh, case facts and a, a chronology or timeline of the case, your custom uh, document tags. As soon as you have the document set that you know you need to look at, you can be um, running the, the ECA and doing review at the same time. You can be tagging those documents for issues and putting them on a case timeline at the same time that you're filling out things like privilege and uh, responsiveness. And by doing that, you're going to gain a really big advantage over somebody else that's not able to do that because it's going to save a lot of time and you're going to be a lot more prepared in a shorter amount of time. And so that's a lot more efficient than having to move from one module to another for those things. Further advantages of the end-to-end -end solutions, the document archive and access, um, a cloud-based end-to-end solution is going to let you have your case hosted you know, from the beginning to the end in one place, and so you can archive that, you can access it at any time, the case goes away, it comes back, um, you don't need the documents for a couple months and then you need them, you can always come back and search for them. Uh, dynamic timelines, I kind of touched on that a little bit already. But the cool part about that is you get into something like uh, you start downloading or uploading the data, you have it in there, you're creating a timeline, and all of a sudden new data comes in. Um, you can add that to the same timeline, use the same tags on it, um, change it, update it. You go into depositions, you use the information that you already have on your timeline in the deposition. Maybe you have a deposition transcript, maybe uh, new information that needs to go on the timeline to supplement those facts that you're outlining there and the supporting documents get added to the timeline and it's in one place from start to finish and it's integrated with your documents. And then presentation material, um, since you have everything in one place, it can easily be exported for use in something like trial director, or verdict, or other presentation programs if you want to present it outside of the discovery platform. As I move forward here, we see custom document tags. This is an example out of the Lexby system. And this is something that I was talking about, how you can set these up and do your issue and custom document tagging at the same time that you do your um, initial response in this review in order to save time and be more prepared. And I'll push forward one more and we see this is an example of case timelining, again, from the Lexby platform. And you see it's got live hyperlinks into the documents in addition to that other information there. And so that's a, an advantage of having the timeline and the uh, eDiscovery tool in the same platform is that you get those live hyperlinks into the docs and it can be dynamically updated like we talked about. Moving on now, we're looking at centralization, consolidation, and greater control. This is kind of a back from the uh, original four things that I talked about as being advantages to bringing eDiscovery in-house. All the data is accessible anytime by any authorized user. And you have full control over who those users are, what data they can see. It's really easy to add in somebody like a, a co-counsel, an expert witness, um, uh, create a login for a client, digitally share a data set with an expert witness or a client without giving them access to the eDiscovery platform. So those are all things that you can do uh, with this in-house solution. The technology will keep your data organized. It's consolidated into views where you can see hierarchies, you can sort it and review it very easily. And you can do that with your cases too. So the advantage of having it in-house, you have the data right here where you can log in and look at it. And you can do that for all your cases at once too. So if you have somebody administering that, it becomes a lot easier and more efficient to manage your overall e-discovery processes and budget. And then again, like I was talking about, by bringing it in-house, the review is an iterative process where you can 
kind of run those things in parallel and simultaneously do several layers of review and save a lot of time and be prepared a lot quicker. Moving along on the centralization, consolidation, and control, uh, manage all your cases in one centralized location, which I kind of touched on before, and then you can track and manage the data size, users, and case access all through one interface, and that's going to help you, as I said, control your costs, budget for things, and just know your case, know your data a lot quicker, and again, make use of the uh, staff you already have on hand, and there's a screenshot of how you can uh, view and manage all of those cases and users, again, within the Lexby platform. Moving on, we're on the uh, scalability and speed topic that we saw in our agenda. And this is an example of how the LXP platform backends with the uh, server structure that they use. And you see it's comparing it to in-house again. You might also compare this to other um, cloud quote-unquote solutions that don't really have the uh, scalability that the LXP system has. A lot of ones might be referred to as cloud or they might be uh, not even referring to themselves as cloud, but saying they have the off-site secure data center. And the cloud essentially is an off-site secure data center. It's just one that's uh, a lot more scalable than what the average person that just sets up uh, 10 or 20 or 100 servers is going to have, and a lot more powerful. And so you see in the uh, first example, 10 servers, they can all do 2 gigs a day of processing. It would take 30 days, and they'd only process 600 gigabytes of data. In this example, we're working off of uh, one terabyte production. So they still wouldn't finish the job on time, even with no setbacks. If you have something that's scalable and you can deploy 500 servers in one day, you'd be able to finish that processing up in one day. And that's really the power of something like the uh, Lexby platform and how it backends into that scalable cloud infrastructure. Moving on, um, we've got this uh, graphic here, and this is just a representation of a 12-month period and uh, a firm or corporation's e-discovery needs. And so what you have for data processing needs, and this would work too if you put this on like an e-discovery services thing. Um, so just e-discovery needs, whether it be processing, hosting, anything, you look at it and there are going to be peaks and valleys depending on when projects are, uh, are going on for that firm or corporation. That's what we see in this graph here. And now if you want to staff that internally, we move along to the next slide and see that even if we staff it up to where it's very near the peak, there's just a ton of extra capacity that's just dormant, inactive resources we have it marked as here during that time. And you're still on that peak, not um, at the capacity that you need to handle that. So it's really inefficient. And if we uh, move along here, we see internal capacity. You can have the internal capacity of the staff to handle that stuff that is constant as far as e-discovery in your firm or in your corporation. And then for all those times that you exceed that, you just look at it on-demand solution, something in the cloud, one of those end-to-end e-discovery platform solutions, and that can handle the rest of that stuff, and that includes all the uh, services and the hosting and processing. You want to look for a software provider that does all of those things when you move your e-discovery in-house. So as I move on, we'll look at the importance of training and support. In addition to understanding all of the ins and outs of data manipulation, like the search techniques, you're going to need to be able to abide by complex rules uh, in the FRCP or whichever state the case happens to be in. And so training and being able to get support is going to be very important and being able to comply with those rules and use the best practices for things like your advanced search to make sure that you're not wasting time and that you're able to do these things efficiently and that it's not uh, causing a slowdown, causing complications in your project. And technology requires support, um, whether you have stuff on premise, a local installation, whether you send it out to a vendor, they're needing support too. They're paying somebody for support and that cost gets passed along to you or an on-demand cloud service. People are going to need support for technology and you want to ensure that you choose somebody that has a high level of tech support available quickly. 
And just a bit about how the Lexby platform does this. Um, they have a cadre of uh, Lexby eDiscovery specialists and technical support professionals. And there aren't any lower level people that do things. You don't pick up the phone and call and get a first level support and then have to talk to somebody more advanced if your question has merit. You always get somebody that's a professional, knows what they're talking about, and can help you from anything from, you know, which button is where and how do I do a search all the way up to um, federal rules of civil procedure and questions of that nature. Moving on to our practical takeaways. In-house e-discovery solutions can save you time and money. It can help you utilize your own internal staff. And that's very valuable, and that's going to cut costs by itself, aside from cutting out all the fat of sending it out to an outside vendor or something like that. Some cloud-based software providers offer nearly limitless data hosting and processing capacity, um, plus extra assistance for e-discovery projects is needed. And that's what I was talking about with the people that Lexby has on hand, professionals, people that are certified in this stuff, know this stuff and can help, but are not required. And that's the next bullet point. You want to ensure that a software provider you use doesn't require you use their billable consultants. That's just a way of padding up the, uh, the extra billables to you. And they might offer a, a low rate on something else, but then you're getting it back there where you have to pay for a minimum of uh, billable consultant fees or something like that. You'll, of course, want to ensure that the uh, costs align with your needs and that there are no hidden fees or per-user fees. And we talked about user fees before. And it's just really inconvenient. One of the big things about the cloud interface is you can add and remove users on the fly, uh, log in and work from anywhere, collaborate in real time. And it really uh, puts a damper on that if you have to go back and pay a user fee every time you need a new user. So you want a solution where you can just jump in and add a user yourself and there are no fees involved. And then you want to look for options that let you customize and control the process in a do-it-yourself way and offer the assistance and services like I was talking about with the uh, Lexby Technical and eDiscovery Specialist staff. But at the same time, you want to be able to do it yourself to enjoy those cost reductions and the ability to utilize your own internal staff and capacity. And with that, thank you everybody again for, uh, for attending, for listening to me. If you have questions, uh, Gene will give you my contact info, and you can reach out to me directly or email us uh, at lexby.com. And with that, I'll turn things back over to Gene. Thank you, everybody, for attending, and thank you, Christian, for a, a very interesting webinar. We'll be making the... Uh, video version of the webinar and mp3 podcast and PDF available for everybody as mentioned previously. Uh, Christian and my contact information is below. Uh, there will also be a short survey after the webinar and we appreciate anybody who can stay around and, and complete that. We look at those uh, responses closely. It just takes a minute or two and uh, we'd love to hear how we can improve things and what you'd like to see for future topics. Uh, we keep these webinars uh, very educational, but we get requests for personalized uh, demos and uh, um, questions about the Lexby software and services. If anybody would uh, like a personalized demo, please let us know and we'll get you hooked up on that right away. Thank you again and look forward to seeing you next month. Bye-bye.